All right, so our last question in the uh, dipole moment category of this uh, section, of, or chapter rather. Uh, the statement reads, for a volume current J, A, write down the multipole expansion, B, write down the monopole potential and prove that it vanishes, that'll be fun, C, show that the dipole moment can be written as M equal one half integral R cross, uh, R cross product with J, um, D tau. All right, fair enough. This is pretty straightforward, so let's just browse through it. Um, so consider the modification from the line current to the volume current and how that, how that manifests itself. Uh, I DL goes to J D tau. Okay. And then using the definition of the multipole expansion, we just have to substitute that in. It's pretty straightforward. Now, the monopole term is when n equals 0. Here's where we have the fun. So, we plug it in. The uh, summation is just, it. we don't have to really worry about it. It's just n equals 0 to 0, so it's just the first thing. Um, so, we note that the uh, r prime term and the pn term go to 1 each. So, we're just left with the integral of j d tau. And, uh, of course, we have 1 over r in the front of that. Uh, but if you remember from an earlier problem, we found that the integral j d tau is equal to the uh, rate of change with respect to time of the electric dipole. Okay, but here's the thing about that. We said that in magnetostatics that the rate of, that the uh, current was constant. So dp d tau goes to zero. And therefore, we know that the magnetic monopole potential is zero. That was a pretty cool uh, things to put together to verify how consistent this is. Um, so finally, moving on to part C, we see that the dipole moment with the same modification we used in A, if, if we have M equal IA, and that's equal to one half I, the closed integral R uh, cross DL, with this modification, we can say that M is equal to one half integral R cross J D tau. Pretty straightforward, but that seeing that come together with part B was really nice.